Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love. And um, today I'm going to share from the Enchanted Map as to say, <clears throat> what guidance do we need? What, um, what guidance do we need? What help do we need? What do our ancestors want to tell us? What do they want to help us with? Um, and what do we need to know to keep going forward uh, for this energetic, let's say, situation, relationship, energy path that we find ourselves on. And so um, let's have a look. So the first thing is, is that I'm going to ask what does spirit want to tell us? about what's going on with these connections at the moment, virtually. Uh, what is going on at the moment with the connections? What's going on at the moment? So we are being told to listen to our intuition. And um, the elephants, the elephants come together because they need each other. They need each other <clears throat> emotionally um, to support each other. Um, but this is listening. So we're being told to really listen to our intuition, to really listen to our intuition is our heart connection. Our heart connection is what, if we have, if you are watching this video, then you've woken up to the fact that we're on an energetic journey here. We are all energy living a physical experience. And um, that isn't always <laughs> how we want it to be. So we have to be told to keep wide open to the opportunities. We keep wide open with an open heart. She's wearing green, the green dress and her arms are open wide like this to the universe to say, OK, I'm going to let myself be broken open. And <clears throat> we've all been there. We know that that hurts like nothing else. When you meet and you separate from your twin, it is being broken open but the challenge is then is to keep your heart open and to not close down and to what be wide open to the universe so we're being asked to be wide open note that that both cards are green 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 is healing heart so what do the answers what uh, what do your ancestors want to tell us and so what do the ancestors want to tell us and look it's to say that you are strong you are strong. You have the strength, what it takes to see you through. You have the strength of what it takes to see you through. Trust that you are rooted. Look, she, again, she's wearing green. She's holding this new earth in her hands. And the new earth is growing trees out of her. Because we are here to ground, to ground in the new earth, basically. Right? That's what we're here to do. We're here to... Um, to be the the anchor for the new earth so again that was green so there's a big healing that's happening heart healing heart opening more more heart healing more heart opening what do we need to do what do we need uh, to be doing and the, um, following your light the talisman again green <laughs> Um, following the light, following the intuition, you know, listening to our guidance, following the path into our own journey of healing. And um, I have very strongly felt this. I know that other people also have very strongly felt this and have experienced this, this journey of having to go out on your own again, being strong. Um, listening to intuition, staying open. Um, and then I'm going to ask for, okay, what about the future of the Twin Flame Connections? What do we need to know about the future of the Twin Flame Connections? So look, it's we always have a choice. And the choice is in your hands. Do we follow intuition? Do we follow the path of the heart? Um, or do we t take a different option? You know, we always have free will in these connections. We have free will because each door 
is a new opportunity, right? Each door is a new opportunity. And so we always have choice. It's about free will. But we are being told to live your highest and best path. You must remain open. You must listen to your intuition. You must follow the light that's inside. And you are strong. And you're here to hold on to this new earth. And together we are like the trees in the forest. We all connect by our energy all over the world, connecting to build this new, the, this new earth. So that's on page 44, the new earth. So I'm going to read 44, right? Because 44 is the one that, um, 44 is the one that wants to come through. So we'll see, 44. And the message is, 44 is this. It is, your true strength comes not from self-reliance alone, but from, from a sincere faith in a higher power. So the strength to accomplish even the most daunting tasks is yours at this time. You can connect with and channel the power of the universe. The strength card indicates that your ideas are being tested and refined and your relationships are being deepened. No matter what happens, nothing can move you off the course of evolution. As the potency of your connections becomes more obvious, you are able to harness the creative energies that are available to you. Have courage and dive in, for magic is in the process of finding a form to take. When you remember that real strength comes from a combination of your efforts and reliance on a higher power working through you, everything is possible and you can do anything now. So remembering that you can do anything. And uh, I think that is one of the, the I had this, um, I'm not sure if I've spoken about this, but it was really, I did a QHHT session for a friend of mine um, who isn't, you know, part of this, you know, who isn't part of this energy group. He's just a, a friend um, that I actually went to uni with. And I did him a QHHT session. And I was quite curious about it. Well, I was more apprehensive about doing it for, for him because he's a very good friend. And also because I wasn't quite sure because you know, he wasn't, he's not necessarily on a spiritual path. So he's more, let's say he's more working in a corporate environment and very much sort of logical brain. That's the best way to describe it. Very practical, very logical. Anyway, so I did a, set, a QHHT session for him, which is the quantum healing hypnosis therapy. And, uh, uh, and what was really amazing is he experienced, or when I was guiding, you know, guiding him through, and I, the reason I'm saying this is it's so good for all of us to remember, but just saying about anything is possible, um, is that he experienced, at one point he was, he was saying, oh, I can see above the trees, and he was growing, and he was like, oh my God, I'm massive, I'm a giant, and he, he was seeing above the trees and he was saying, hang on, I'm taller than the trees. I'm growing, I'm growing. And then the next minute, um, I asked him some uh, another question and then he was like, no, 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 I'm shrinking, I'm shrinking, I'm shrinking. And it was, the, it was, it was actually really funny. Um, but then he was like, and I was like, you're shrinking. And he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm shrinking. And he was, and he was under hypnosis, he was saying, I'm shrinking, I'm really small. And um, he'd gone from being the really, really big to really, really small. And he said, I feel tired. I feel really tired because I've, I keep. And the message was basically is that he needs to stop trying to accommodate everyone. by ch And the way that they what the way that he showed himself how, you know, to get that message across was by shrinking himself and making himself really big shrinking himself and making himself really big because he needs to and that and what he was telling himself is you need to find your right size and stay there and set boundaries around being your right size otherwise you're giving your energy because he was saying I'm really tired because having gone from being really big high up 
to then really small. And the weird thing is, he said, I'm the size of a golf tee. Which was just a really bizarre thing to say because he's not into golf. He's a horse. He rides horses. <laughs> golf is the, like the least thing that I would have expected him to say. So he said, I'm the size of a golf tee. And I just thought that's so funny. Um, but really good message because it was such a... Um, for him to experience that, he, it was so, um, what's the word, tangible for him to relate to his real, to, well, it was him, it was his real life, but he was experiencing, he was experiencing that in the session, so he could relate it to his, his real, you know, experiences, and, uh, and it was just so brilliant to, to, to experience that, because literally, he, in that session, he shapeshifted, and so that's what just reminded me that, you know, we do have the power to do anything. We do have the power to, but we just have to open our minds to it. And that's the great thing about when you have QHHT, you are able to open your mind to all the dimensions, all the possibilities, all the answers, right? However, your soul wants to show you. And, um, you know, and every person is different. So, yeah, it was quite an amazing thing. But it just reminded me about that message about just saying, you know, you're strong. You have more strength than you can possibly, possibly imagine. And you are powerful and you're a shapeshifter. And if you seize that energy, you can do anything, really. And um, you just have to believe and believe, like it said, believe in a higher power that will help you to achieve that. So, uh, yeah, so it's quite, you know, all of it is quite amazing. So I'm going to start, I'm going to read them backwards. So I'm going to start with book four first. And, um, and again, you know, it's just amazing. I mean, all of these books are amazing, right? So all of these channelings that I've done for people, all of the QHHT sessions, the Reiki sessions, the everything. I mean, it's just like stepping into new dimensions all the time or other dimensions. So letter 44, book four is this. And it's just to remember that you have the, you have the strength to do anything. You are a strong, strong, strong soul because you came here on this earth to grow literally a new earth. And that's amazing. So use your wings to fly. You have the wings of an angelic angel. You have them within your light, your soul. You have the power to soar up high, to see from the higher perspective. Oh my God, just as I was saying about my friend, to see from the higher realms of light. The Council of Light are acknowledging your work. They are honoring the path you have chosen and the dedication that you are putting in to make your soul fly high. Oh my God, that is sending me shivers oh, all up my back. Um, we know that it is not an easy task. Planet Earth is suffering hugely at the hands of fear. There is darkness at play wanting to hold the Earth down. Oh my God, I have to get that card again. Wanting to hold the Earth down. And what did we get? The strength card. The one that I was showing was the strength. Literally, she has it in her hands, lifting the earth up. Look, she has it in her hands, lifting the earth up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've got serious goosebumps going on. Uh, there we go. So, <laughs> that's nuts. We know that it is not an easy task. Planet Earth is suffering hugely at the hands of fear. There is darkness at play wanting to hold down the earth, wanting to stop the vibration rising. But with your wings, with all your earth angel wings working together, pulling together in a unity of love, you will make a difference. You will change humanity. You will rise on the wings of love. Oh my God. Well, I can see now why I was guided to read letter from book four first just nuts just absolutely nuts 
Okay, so I'm just going to read that again. That is just like, again, just... Use your wings to fly. You have the wings of an angelic angel. You have them within your light, your soul. You have the power to soar up high, to see from the higher perspective, to see from the higher realms of light. The Council of Light are acknowledging your work. They are honouring the path you have chosen and the dedication that you are putting in to making your soul fly high. We know that it is not an easy task. Planet Earth is suffering hugely at the hands of fear. There is darkness at play wanting to hold down the Earth, wanting to stop the vibration rising. But with your wings, with all your Earth Angel wings working together, pulling together in a unity of love, you will make a difference. You will change humanity. You will rise on the wings of love. Oh! Okay, so, one. <laughs> that was book four. So, 44, um, book three is, I'm here for you. I'm here for us. It may seem like I've gone off the boil for a while, and I have. I kind of got lost in my dark thoughts. Lots of past hurts and insecurities coming up to the surface. It's about my insecurities of not being man enough. I've always wanted to be a macho man, but I've never been, and I've put myself down. But I don't want to ruin my life or your life. I'm so sorry for putting you through my shadow. I've let my own sh shadow dull your shine, dull our shine. And now I want us to shine bright, bright like the North Star. Well, I've shared that my twin has definitely gone off the boil. So I was in contact with him and then, uh, and then, poof, gone again. So, 44. Book two is just shine your light, focus on you, focus on the beautiful ray of crystalline starlight that you are, that we are together. Move out of the physical awareness and move deep into the essence of our spirit, our souls entwined together in a pillar of light, connected by a heartbeat, connected by a beautiful heartbeat in these wonderful bodies of ours. Feel the eternalness of our beating hearts always beating together since creation began. Focus on that, focus on light, focus on our journey together through the eons and passageways of time. Remember, ours is an eternal love. Okay, now we have last one, <laughs> 44. I don't keep you in the dark. Surely you know who I am by feeling me in your heart. I'm in my own dark at the moment. I'm on my own journey to find my own light, to find my own way back to my heart. So please believe in me. Trust in your heart. Trust in our connection. I need to feel that compassion, that knowing, that love that is pulling me out of my own darkness, my shadows that have blocked me for such a long time. I'm still fighting my shadow, but I am making headway. I can see the light. The light is there and I'm heading towards it. Trust in our journey and trust that we're in the tunnel together, helping and guiding each other into the light. Well, it's amazing to me, again, at how connected between the different books are as well, because the message in book four is saying, you know, the dark, the dark energy is trying to pull the light down and then the energy works through each and every one of us. We are, you know, we're the transmuters of the energy. So is there any surprise then that we're, fe we're going through this big healing, pro this big healing sort of like energy wave at the moment? Um, and the twins right there in those letters were saying, we're going through our own darkness at the moment. Um, so again, <laughs> I mean, it's just... It's all there. It's all it's all there. Just exactly what was just said in the cards as well. So we have to be strong in our own light. All right. I really hope that helps. If you would like to have a healing reading channeling um, or to get any of my books, these books, um, then uh, please do. They're all here. All messages of love through each and every one of you.
all right i hope that helps i'll be back tomorrow but in the meantime i hope you stay well stay bright and stay switched on to the light see you bye